Hi, my name is Ivan and I will show you in this video tutorial how to set up and run Energy Plus parametric simulations by using the GE Plus. Before I move to an example, I will briefly introduce the GE Plus tool. GE Plus is the graphical user interface developed for the purpose of creating and managing Energy Plus simulation jobs and collecting results afterwards. The main user interface is composed of three sections. Most of controls are located on the project, execution and post-process tabs as well as in the new menu bar. Panel on the right is used for instructions, outputs, file editors, etc. Many of G Plus features will be covered through an example, so let's move to it. The building model used in this tutorial is one of the Energy Plus example files, the 4 zone with shading simple one IDF file. The model needs to be slightly adjusted in order to suit better to the purpose of the tutorial. Namely, in the simulation control object, run simulation for sizing period should be set to no, while the run simulation for weather file run period should be set to yes. Second and the last adjustment is related to the reporting frequency of the output meter object. It should be changed from hourly to annual for both district heating facility and district cooling facility. Now we can go back to the GE Plus. Project tab is the place where we set up a parametric project, choose the parameters and define the value range for each parameter. G Plus requires at least three input files to be specified. First one is the weather file. In this particular example, the Chicago Hair weather file is used. I downloaded it to the default Energy Plus weather folder, but it can be called from any other location. Also, multiple weather files can be selected as a part of the parametric study. Second input is the Energy Plus building model on which the parametric study is carried out. The assumption is that the model has been tested thoroughly by the user and that there is no severe errors. The last required input is the RVI file, which defines the variable and meter values to be extracted from the Energy Plus output files by using the Readvar CISO. Readvar CISO is an Energy Plus post-process tool and more about it can be found in an Energy Plus documentation. Here we can see the structure of the RVI file. It has to have the name of the Energy Plus output file, the name of the output CSV file and the zero at the end. Between is the list of variables user want to extract. In this particular case there are two meter outputs, district heating facility and district cooling facility. Once input files have been selected, we can start specifying parameters. A parameter is specified with three essential elements. Unique ID, search string and the list of alternative values. Three parameters will be specified in this example. The site's terrain, external wall insulation thickness and the depth of overhang above windows. So let us first open the building model for editing. In the building object, the Energy Plus allows five different site terrain types to be specified. Country, suburbs, city, ocean and urban. We can give a name to the parameter as well as the description. The search string is a character sequence to be placed in the IDF file to identify the location of a value to be later inserted, for example TER. We can copy and paste it instead of the suburbs value which was in the original building model. This is the discrete type of parameters which values can be specified with a comma delimited list and closed in a pair of curly brackets.
Here we can specify single value of this parameter which might be useful for running a subset of the jobs while maintaining the job indexes. New parameter can be added by clicking here. Or we can copy the existing one, delete the parameter or delete the whole branch. Second parameter P2 is the insulation thickness. Search string can be INS. Construction element exterior has a B3 2 inches insulation layer. Therefore, within the particular material object, we can insert the search string instead of the current insulation thickness. Value type is double, and we can assign in the square brackets, values starting with 0.025 meter with interval 0.025 and then value 0.1 meter. The third parameter we want to vary in this study is the depth of overhangs above windows. Add a new parameter P3, name overhang, description overhangs depth. and the st search string can be overhang. Now we have to place the search string into the IDF file. Actually to replace the current 3 meter depth field with the search string in 4 shading overhang object. Value type is the double and the alternative values start with 0.5 meter with interval 0.5 meter and then value can be 3 meter. We can now save and close the building model. By opening the model again we can see and search all assigned search strings in the model. Once all parameters are defined, the current settings and jobs can be checked by clicking on the validate button. If something were wrong, for example same ID in several parameters, the validation would be unsuccessful. It is worth to mention that the validation process does not verify the model templates, including the presence of search strings in the model. Our project has passed the validation, and we can see in the message box that there are 120 jobs to be simulated. Now we can move to the execution tab. Current version of G Plus supports only running jobs on the local computer. In this field here, we need to specify the directory where Energy Plus is installed. G Plus supports all versions of Energy Plus starting from 2.2. If any executable is not present at the default location, it will be rendered red, and therefore we have to locate it manually. In the options sections, we can see number of processors available for simulations. G Plus detects number of logical processors present in this computer and try to use them all by default. However, user has a freedom to set to lower number of processors to be used for simulations. We'll use all of them. Before start with simulations, we need to specify working directory where individual job directories are created and results are stored. Let's create the outputs directory within the test folder. There are some more options here to remove raw energy plus outputs and other files that individual jobs use during simulations. In this example we'll keep them all. Under the actions there are several options to select jobs of the project to run. We can choose to run the first job of each parameter chain, randomly select jobs or jobs specified in the external file 
or to run the whole batch. Jobs are run by clicking on the Start Simulation button. After some time simulations are finished. We can save the project. Close the GE Plus and see the results. In the Outputs folder, there are individual job subfolders and three CSV files. Runtime's file also reports warning and errors. The index table of simulation jobs and the sim result file containing all results which need to be analyzed. Thank you for watching this video tutorial.